Hey, 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 everybody. Okay, so I wanted to come to you today uh, <clears throat> while I'm cleaning up my cleaning my truck while I'm, you know, washing it down because I don't want to get up in my van one day and the ants been overtook it because they smelled a little sweet stuff. But so today while I was working and in my downtime, you know, talking to God, of course, this is something that God had brought to my remembrance. Sometimes, you know, you might find yourself in a situation where things just don't feel so good. You find yourself like where you in a in bondage, you in prison. It can be prison with an addiction, um, even loving somebody. It can be a prison of a marriage, a prison of a job that you hate. It can be, it can just be just, you just in a prison. And you can look over and see that somebody is in the prison with you. And it seemed like, you know, what can that person do for you? You know, both of y'all in the same boat. Both of y'all going through the same situation. And it just don't feel so good. Well, I want to encourage you, don't give up and don't feel hopeless. Let me tell you why. So, when Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers, right? Go read your Bible. Just pull up, pull up about Joseph, okay? And go from there because I'm not gonna tell you where to find it at because when you research you'll always remember the story you all remember where to go look for that so so when Joseph when Potiphar wife lied on Joseph they had put jo uh, Potiphar put Joseph in prison and when he put him in prison he also it was also another man it was a baker and I think it was a the, the chef or something like that he was in prison with them and so they had a dream and they couldn't interpret their dream and so that was telling it to David and David said well don't you know God can you know tell you about that dream God is the one who gives you dreams let's go to God and so David I mean Daniel was able to tell them I mean I'm sorry ugh. Joseph was able to tell them about their dreams and he told one of the guys the baker of the ship you go and check it out for your second arm Anyway, he told them, you know, the first one he told, he revealed the dream, and he told them, when you, you know, this dream gonna come to pass, and when it come to pass, please don't forget about me. So that was that one had a good dream, and the other one he had a bad. It was a his dream was bad, and Joseph, I mean Joseph would tell me, man, you gonna get killed, you gonna die. So anyway, so when, hold on, I'm gonna go find and see which one is which. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay. So it was the cup, the the chief cup bearer, bearer, and the the baker. So the the cup bearer, he had a good dream, but the baker, he didn't have a good dream. You know, his dream was not good. So anyway, Joseph told the bearer, you know, when you get out of here, please don't forget about me. You know, don't forget about me. And so sure enough, when he got out, you know, time had passed by. He forgot about Joseph. So anyway. But the time came when the gift that Joseph had on his life, the anointed to interpret dreams, it was needed for, um, it, it was needed to be interpreted for the king. And so the chief, the chief cupbearer, the chief cupbearer, he said, oh, you know what? When I was in prison, it was this guy who interpreted my dream. And so he remembered, he remembered Daniel. And that's the same thing with you. You give it all, your all in whatever situation you find yourself in. Don't lose hope. Don't feel like, you know, you're not going to ever get out of that situation. Things are not, not going to ever work out because it will. But you have to hold fast. You have to allow the gift in you to be cultivated. That's why God allow us to go into pit, um, into the pit, go into prison, to go into the, to go in these things because it's going to work out for your good because of who God is. Now, the thing is about your gift. Your gift will make room for you. So that means it has to be fine-tuned, which means you're going to go through. So you're going to go through a divorce. You'll go through um, a miscarriage. You'll go through a breakup. You'll go through losing a job. You'll go through being broke. You know, you'll go through sickness. You'll go through all those things. But it's to cultivate the good in you. It's to cultivate what God has in you. Because, baby, you are so great. You are so wonderful. You are so magnificent. Honey. That gift, you have something locked down inside of you that you ain't even tapped into. So when you find yourself in your pits, in your prisons, 
Don't lose hope. When you see your neighbor or your friend or somebody else can't help you, ain't no better, just know they have something to help you fine tune what's in you and you have something for them. So child, when Joseph finally got out of prison, when he was able to tell the king about his dream, the king said, oh, you're so wise. Let me put you over the grain and everything else. You next to me. I'm the king and you're next to me and nobody can def nobody can go against what you say or what you do. Do you see how cool that is? When you allow God to use the gift in you, when you allow God to use the grain in you, when you allow God to use that baking skills that you have, that dream of interpretation, um, even if I even know how to dance, know how to praise, God will use that. So don't give up. Don't lose hope because right now you feel like you're in a prison situation. It's okay. You know somebody else in a prison situation. It's okay. Remember, iron sharpen iron. Now you go and be great. You go and read the Bible, baby. Genesis forty. Go read it because one one thing one thing what it's going to do. It's going to show you that God is the same then, now, and forevermore. He does not change. He is a great God. He allows stuff to happen. He allows good things out, bad things to happen. But He is still God. He does not change. And this is because of His Son Yeshua. Yes, mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes, the one you know. It's because of Him that you can have your sins forgiven and you can have another chance. Look today, like you know, the enemy. When I get in that downtime, he be trying to hit me. But I have to remember who God is and trust God. And one thing about I was sitting stationed and it wasn't happening. But it wasn't until I stopped moving, I started seeing the hand of God. Do you hear me? So you guys have a blessed day. And uh, look, share this video with somebody. Somebody need this encouraging, you know, need this encouraging word. And also, I want to invite you, um, this Wednesday, I will be starting up Bible study. And it's a different type of Bible study, chat. We're going to have snacks, you know. I don't know what we're going to have. But I'll be preparing it myself because I know that I'm clean. And I know I'm not going to do anything to hurt anybody. So you don't have to worry about nobody that's bringing something. You be worried about who cooked this and made it. No, no, no. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. But so, uh, I put my, uh, I put the poster up and I hope to see you all this Wednesday for, uh, I'm going to say Bible study, but it's really, it's saying, what does God have to say about it? This is a different type of Bible study. You're not coming there. We're just going to have things just set out. No, you come and you have a question for the Lord. We're going to go and seek it because one thing about it, when you go to seek and search out something, you will remember it. That's just how it works. So we're going to sit down, we're going to sup together, we're going to have a good time. And uh, and um, Saturdays, we're going to start habit, Sabbath day worship at 10 o'clock. Look, I got some things I need God to break out for me. I got some things that I need God to cultivate in me even more. But it's not until I stop moving in the way of God and doing what God told me to do that I can see the hand of God showing up on my life. And you're going to see God, the hand of God showing up on your life. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to put you in the ground. I ain't, that ain't none of my business. I am here to introduce you to the one who helps me. Introduce you to the one who anoints my mind. Introduce you to the one who keeps me when those tears fall and he catch you before they get too, you know, too embedded in my heart. So you guys have a great day. And look for the, uh, child, I'm hot. Look for, uh, yeah, the flyer. Have a great day. Gotta go. Love you guys. Bye.